12 continues. There's Baker Mayfield, the Cleveland Browns. 15 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. No interceptions his last three games. The Browns are 7-3. and three. How about Josh Allen the last two weeks? Five touchdown passes, 72% of his passes completed, 37 points in the two games. He is on fire. Ryan Tannehill is becoming a Titans QB. They are number one in offensive TDs with 72. Looking to take advantage of a Colts defense, missing a few guys. And Derek Carr, 19 touchdowns, three interceptions. He's on pace for the best ever pass raider by a Raider quarterback. Hello, folks. Welcome to the NFL Today presented by Jeep. I'm James Brown, a doubleheader on CBS as Week 12 continues. And, folks, we have a thrilling slate of games coming up, so let's not waste any time. In Tampa, a clash of the quarterback Titans as reigning Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes takes on six-time Super Bowl champ. That would be Tom Brady. It's the Chiefs versus the Bucks in the late window here on CBS. And coming off of their Week 11 by Josh Allen and the AFC East leading Bills are appropriately recharged as Justin Herbert and company pay a visit to Orchard Park. Now, in what could be the week's most critical matchup in shaping this year's postseason, Phillip Rivers and the Colts welcome in Ryan Tannehill and the Titans in a battle for first in the AFC South. Right now in the NFC, the Saints are the number one seed, followed by the Rams, the Packers, and the Washington football team. Now, the wild card spots are occupied by Seattle, Tampa, and Arizona, with the Bears, the Vikings, and the Niners on the outside looking in. Meanwhile, the race in the NFC East, especially close with Washington leading the division by a half game after a Thanksgiving win over the last place Cowboys. But the Eagles and the Giants will have a chance to leapfrog Washington with victories of their own. And in the AFC, Pittsburgh remains atop the conference with Kansas City, Buffalo, and Indy rounding out the top four. The Titans and the Browns sit in the first two wildcard spots with the 6-4 and four Raiders taking the third spot, owning the tiebreaker over the Ravens and the Dolphins. But make no mistake about it, the outcome of the Titans and Colts game should and could shake up the entire AFC playoff picture. It is the Colts winning it tonight, 34-17 over Tennessee. We're headed to overtime. Here we go. Colts get ready to go to overtime for the first time this year. Jackson under pressure. Sack! Balls on the turf around the 30-yard line. The Colts have the ball. Henry getting free. Henry's going to end the game. Titans take it in overtime. It's through. It's through. It went in. It went in. And the Colts win it. So here we go. It's a battle for the top spot. Titans at the Colts. Ooh. Ooh. They know us. We know them. I'm taking the Titans. I like the Colts. Back inside Studio 43, as always, I'm joined by, we take the temperature of Phil first to make sure it's all good. <laughs> Phil Sims, the Hall of Fame coach, Bill Cower, the versatile Mr. Nate Burleson, and what, what do we call him? Um, good looking. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> He'll, He'll tell you. Said, He'll tell hey, you. A battle of utmost <laughs> importance in the AFC <laughs> South today between the Titans and a Phillip Rivers-led coast team coming off a fantastic win over Green Bay. For more on that, let's bring in our guy, Mr. Charles Davis. He's in Indy. Hello, Charles. Hello, JB. Hello, guys. And boy, Philip Rivers, when you're talking about a guy 